Okay, today I wanted to remake uh, an old video. Uh, it's possibly the video that has been watched the most on my channel. It's a, video, it's a video that has been on the channel for well over 10 years and has been watched, I think, 130,000 times, uh, ballpark. And it's a, a tutorial for the guitar, the main rhythm part for Walk of Life by Dire Straits, as played by Mark Loeffler. Uh, and rightly so, you know, it's been watched so many times because uh, it's quite a, you know, a big tune, so to speak. And uh, I wanted to remake it because obviously, you know, nowadays technology uh, has advanced and the video can actually look a lot better. And also I have uh, since found, you know, it's been floating uh, on the internet for ages, a, a multi-track of that, uh, of that recording. So I'm going to uh, play, uh, you know, some sections of the isolated guitar track. Uh, hopefully the video is not going to be taken down. Uh, but I find that the way that he plays it is quite, you know, unique and it, the feel that it has. I've never heard anybody play like Martin Offler in terms of like, you know, you can play the notes, but the, the feel and the way he plays is very difficult to um, to replicate, so to speak. Um, I've made also a patch for the Excel, uh, HX Stomp Excel, which I'm going to upload on the Line 6 website on my community page. I'm going to put everything is going to be on a link on the pinned comment. Uh, so please check that as well. I'm going to link the old video if you want to check that out as well. And uh, maybe a version of, of the isolated uh, track as well for you to check out. Um, yeah, so let's get started. The main idea here is that of the right hand uh, substituting the pick obviously you know, that's his style so is this the main strumming pattern is between the thumb and the index and the middle some people would call this a the claw hammer style is like a bluegrass way of playing or like a country way of playing so uh there is a there are four motions so it's down up with the thumb uh sorry down with the thumb up with the index and middle down with the index and middle hitting the strings with your nails and then back up again. So this is quite swung. If you listen to the original, it's not straight. It's quite, uh, and, and the, it's quite bouncy. And he, he actually makes it quite fat, so to speak, by hitting the, the root note of the chord of the moment quite a bit. So if I'm in E, <laughs> That's kind of the idea. So you want that, that bouncy, fat chord, so to speak, okay? So uh, for the left hand, uh, actually, before I start that, there are basically three sections. There are only three sections in this song. And if we remove the intro where the, where the you know, the main melody played by the keyboard uh, starts the song, uh, when the vocals come in with the first verse, the sections are only three there's verse chorus and instrumental which again is where the keyboard plays the the main melody the famous melody so to speak so um i'm actually going to start from the intro and just because that's the, the first guitar that comes in you know and uh then i'm going to play the verse and then the chorus it's, it's a quite a short but quite intense uh guitar part. The first part obviously is uh, a Chuck Berry style riff where I'm going to play the root which is E, play twice, then I'm playing the C sharp here on the fourth fret of the A string, and then I'm going to play a B on the second fret of the same string. The second bar is similar so there's a there's a bit of a hesitation there, and uh, I pull the C sharp with my third finger onto the B. So that's the same idea now brought up to the A string. Remember when I said you know make sure you hit the low the root note the low the open string pretty much all the time and make it really resonate. This, it has to sound really thick, so to speak. Then it goes after the B, 
and this is where that groove stops. Then he adds a G sharp, which is the fourth fret of the A string. Then we go back to the A. And then there is this rundown. B, A, G sharp, F sharp. Okay. So that first section should sound something like this. Okay. Occasionally, uh, I've noticed one thing, even though he improvises certain sections, uh, when he goes to the A from E to A, he bends, oftentimes he bends that G, so. And when he comes back from A to E, it, he plays. So he plays the, the F sharp once and the C sharp second time. So fourth fret of the D string and fourth fret of the A string. Um, yeah, so that's that's the instrumental bit. Let's see the verse. Verse is the same thing, but obviously the, um, the verse and chorus are, are connected together. So the first thing is that the, the uh, verse has a much longer uh, amount of E. So one. <laughs> to the A, obviously we remember to, to bend that G. Back to A. And then I stop on the E. And this is where in the original recording, obviously there are, because there are three guitars, there's an acoustic guitar, there's the main riff guitar, and then there is this little, you know, this little melody that is out down here. I'm on the 14th fret. I bend the G string. So I'm bending the G string up a whole step on the 14th fret. And then at the same time, it's like a pedal steel lick. I play that E on the on the 12th fret. And then uh, that that G on the 12th fret of the G string. I'll bend it up a little bit. And then in 14th fret of the D string, uh, that's an E. Uh, that's only the first time, because then after that, he plays, instead of that high E, he plays a D on the B string. On the fifth, 15th fret, that, does, that phrase happens three times. The first time is, and the other two times. Okay, it's just a detail. Then we go back to the groove, starting from E. This is the bit that I would call the chorus, okay? And even though the song actually plays an E, the, 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 actually the original track picks up from B. I think it's to leave a bit of space for that melody to resonate. So again, B. And then I have uh, back to E. So E, D, F, C sharp, B. So we are now in the B chord. Then this is a, the, the slightly unusual uh, section. So I will have an A and then most likely with his thumb, he plays an F sharp, second fret of the E string. And then there is that run down. So. And again, a lot of times he alternates when he plays the G sharp on the E strings, fourth fret. 
between the sixth and fifth, the open A. So I'm going to play verse, chorus, and instrumental. I'm going to try and play slowly. One, two, three, four. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed this, uh, and if you found any value in this, please check out all the links in my description. There are links to my music, to my website, to all the other free lessons on my websites, uh, and um, uh, and there are some you know, the, the tip jar links and all that. If you if you feel like doing that as well, of course, uh, subscribe and and share and like the video. Obviously, that all helps the channel. So uh, be very grateful if you did that. Right, take care. Bye bye.